Zombie poems usually are bad, so thanks for indulging me. Um, let me just do a couple random ones and see how you like them. Uh, this one's called Nightmare. She wed the zombie too young. She could have been a neurologist, but she got cold feet. In fact, his awaken her nightly in the bed beside her, a chilling reminder of all that could have been. Yet his love will never die so long as she nurtures him with the cow brains she dons for dinner like a wet wig. I suppose that's free verse. <laughs> <laughs> they all are! Those who landed surprised to discover that zombies had taken over the planet. Most of the passengers on Delta Airlines Flight 27. The balloonist entrepreneur close, cl crossing the Atlantic. The entire submarine crew from the Norwegian Navy. The gutsy hang glider off Mount Pitska. The drunken trapeze artist at Circus Circus. The chief of Ladder Crew 32 in downtown Detroit. The adventurous boy who slept in the treehouse behind 101 Oak Street. The nuclear snowflakes. The armored tadpole mutation with three legs. The freewheeling aliens from Zimbaromboid 6. God. That was called <laughs> Those Who Landed, surprised to discover that zombies had taken over the planet. Um, on a slightly different theme, this is called How the Zombie Holocaust Changed the Holiday Shopping Season. <laughs> <laughs> Taxidermy became trendy again. The latest zombie dolls replacing those stupid singing Santas with real-life disco dead dudes struggling and twisting against their metal skeletons and stitched fixed poses. The really cool ones actually scream whenever you pull a string without falling apart like their cheaper cousins. The super deluxe models are trained to cry brains, but I heard that there was a recall because sometimes the drawstrings won't let go. <laughs> Related to shopping, this is called Home Depot of the Dead. <laughs> we keep resurrecting the clerk in the stained orange apron, busy with patches and pins. He keeps offering to help us fix our bathtub, and we tell him our plumbing is fine, but his isn't, before tossing the next power tool into the tub where he fries. It's electrical help we need. <laughs> Do you remember Beanie Babies? This is called Zombini Babies. <laughs> the tiny rhino's eyes gleam gray as the featherless toucans swings on the baby giraffe's upturned head, dangling down on his erect, broken neck. Happy monkey squeals and spills his guts as the dead kitten purrs wetly beside the stiff boa at your ankles. They've come to collect you. <laughs> hmm, should I end? I'm looking through this for any good ones to end with, but I don't know. Good might be a loaded term. Uh, all right, there are two left here. Uh, this one's called Pecking Zombies. They nosh the corpse, meticulously pinching at the buffet brain with duck-billed hand gestures that cast silly shadow puppets upon the smeared wall. The spectator child never bats an eye. Why zombies lumber? There's a reason why zombies drag their feet. And it's not just because they're dead and aimless. And it's not just because they're still somewhat human and want to give us a fighting chance. Or because they're low on food, though they certainly are tired. The truth is, brains don't matter that much. They all taste the same. And like monkeys, zombies know it's not worth all that effort to crack the hairy coconut shells for only so much magic milk. They lumber and lunge like sleepwalkers because, well, they really just want to go back to bed and let the worms do all the work. The hunger breaks their slumber, but it's not for the brains of the living they lumber. They really just crave their dreams.
Fun with zombies. <laughs> I don't know about your CD. Oh, yes, that is 